Okay, so we're seeing more and more people get into vaping, but what is it doing particularly to your teeth? Have you ever thought about that? Yeah, we have Dr. Ron Wilson here with us from Greenville Smiles on this Wellness Wednesday to tell us more about, you know, what's going on when people pick up this uh, vaping. It can mm -hmm. have uh, big consequences on your teeth and on your mouth in general, right? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yes, ma'am. It, it definitely can, uh, depending on what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. um, there's plenty of what you call, you know, the constituents of the little particles that are in there, mm -hmm. whether it's propylene glycol, nicotine itself, mm -hmm. or glycerin. Um, they all have, uh, L3 have negative effects on the mouth. Yeah, because one wouldn't think, I mean, a lot of uh, the people that are into vaping, they say, well, it's, there's no nicotine in it. It's not, you know, it's not addictive or anything, but, uh, you know, and you think with nicotine, you, you immediately think, okay, that, that could stain your teeth, but you're talking about other things that even if it doesn't have nicotine, it could be uh, detrimental. Well, right, right. Well, the, okay. the majority of them do have nicotine. Okay. Um, uh, and, and when it comes to smoking, it's actually the tar that generally stains the teeth. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so that y you do get, I guess, that one, if, if you want to call it a benefit, because it doesn't stain your teeth quite as much. But oh. when I mentioned the the propylene glycol, when you mm -hmm. put that in the mouth, it breaks down to acetic acid and lactic acid, mm -hmm. which nobody really wants to think about putting acid in their mouth oh, because yeah. um, acid's not good for you and you know on, on hard surfaces. Uh, it also, when it bonds to saliva in water, or the water in the saliva, it um, actually desiccates the tissue, which dries the mouth out, which allows for mm, you know, bacteria to kind of stick a little easier. So right. when did you start seeing patients with this problem? When did you start identifying it as something that could be coming in more regularly that you're gonna have to deal with? Well, I, I, the, the vape was actually invented, I think, in 65, mm -hmm. but nobody seemed to care about it until it was introduced and patented in 2003 yeah. by a Chinese scientist. And then I would say in my practice, it became a little more prevalent probably about seven or eight years ago is when it really started kicking off. Wow. And the sad thing about it now is in, it, in the teenage population, uh, just from 2017 to 2018 mm -hmm. alone, the increase in vaping uh, experiences went up 78% uh, mm -hmm. uh, wow. in high school and 48% in middle school, which is kind of scary. So, you know, they're estimating at least 20% of high school yeah. uh, students now are vaping in some form or you know, another. Yeah, and you and you know, I, from personal experience, believe me, I, I've heard my teenager talk about that. It's like mm. everybody in their in, in their school is mm. is doing the vaping. My daughter um, does the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, um, we talked a little bit about what it does to your teeth, but you know, it can also affect your gums, and you need your gums. Like that's the one thing that people don't ever think about, but the gums are so important. Right. Well, the uh, the the nicotine, for instance, it actually is a vasoconstrictor. So what it does is it basically constricts off the blood flow to the gums, which mm -hmm. allows for inflammation to take place as well as the proliferation of the, mm -hmm. the bacteria under there. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if the body can't really fight it as easily, mm -hmm. uh, the bacteria levels are gonna grow and then the immune response is gonna kick in and you're, yeah. you're gonna start losing <clears throat> bone and eventually you know, the worst case scenario, you'll start losing teeth over it. Oh. You don't want to do that. No, <laughs> no. Would you say that this is right up there with, with sugar as far as the impact on your teeth and on your gums? It's probably a, mm, that's a tough one because sugar is in everything and it affects everyone. Yeah. Just, well, just about. Um, mm -hmm. But I don't know if it's an equal, but yeah. it, it, I think it's certainly worse in those that use it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming in and telling yeah. us oh, yeah. about this and probably good some good yeah. food for thought for a lot of people mm, that are right. out there that are thinking that vaping is okay, but you got to think about the consequences not only to your body, but your, your teeth. Mouth, yeah. 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 All, All right. right. Thank well, you. Dr. Wilson, thanks, thanks for, for coming me. in. And uh, very nice tie, by the yeah, way. Nice oh, tie. Got his tie. Yeah, my patients gave me grief about not wearing it. this time. want to do that again. Oh, yeah. Greenville smiles, right? Yes. All right. Thanks so much. We'll be right back.